Hello everyone. Let me make sure this thing's going. I can't hardly see the screen for the sun. Welcome to morning devotions at the Garden of Hope. Joy is still sleeping. So, show goes on, right? Okay, on our prayer list, Wendy Melendez needs prayer for her and her family for the loss of her older sister. My Uncle Tom Clark had a heart attack uh, Thursday, but he'll be okay. Last Thursday he had one. Um, She's Crafty has an unspoken request. Joy Stewart prayers for her test that she had yesterday. And Joy, let us know when you find out your results. Thriftastic mom's knees are bothering her. And Laura Lee has a, a lump in her abdomen. Pray that it's a hernia and not cancer. And Phyllis Stokes, pray that her chemo helps her cancer. It's nice out this morning, and so far it doesn't look like it's going to rain. I hope not. Now that we got all that rain for the garden, we need some sun to go with it. Okay, our Bible reading comes from John 20, 11 through 18. Now Mary stood outside the tomb crying. As she wept, she bent over to look into the tomb and saw two angels in white seated where Jesus' body had been, one at the head and one other at the foot. They asked her, Woman, why are you crying? They have taken my Lord away, she said. I don't know where they have put him. At this she turned around and saw Jesus standing there, but she did not realize that it was Jesus. He asked her, Woman, why are you crying? Who is it you are looking for? Thinking he was the gardener, she said, Sir, if you have carried him away, tell me where you have put him, and I will get him. Jesus said to her, Mary. She turned towards him and cried out in Aramaic, Rabboni, which means teacher. Do not hold on to me, for I have not yet ascended to the Father. Go instead to my brothers and tell them, I am ascending to my Father and your Father, to my God and your God. Mary Magdalene went to the disciples with the news, I have seen the Lord, and she told them she, that she had said these things, that he had said these things to her. Amen. Our devotions this morning are entitled, Call by Name. Advertisers have concluded that the most attention-grabbing word that viewers react to is their own name. Thus, a television channel in the UK has introduced personalized advertisements with their online streaming services. We might enjoy hearing our name on television, but it doesn't mean much without the intimacy that comes when someone who loves us says our name. Mary Magdalene's attention was arrested when at the tomb where Jesus' body had been laid after he was crucified on the cross, he spoke her name. With that single word, she turned in recognition to the teacher whom she loved and followed. I imagine with a rush of disbelief and joy, the familiarity with which he spoke her name confirmed for her beyond a doubt that the one who had known her perfectly was alive and not dead. Although Mary shared a unique and special moment with Jesus, we too are personally loved by God. Jesus told Mary that he would ascend to his father, but he had also told his disciples that he would not leave them alone. God would send the Holy Spirit to live and dwell in his children. God's story doesn't change. Whether then or now, he knows those whom he loves. He calls us by name. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, I want to pray today for everybody on the prayer list, Lord. Please help, please help all of them and anybody else out there that needs help. In the Lord's name I pray, amen. I hope you all enjoyed the morning devotions at the Garden of Hope. Please press that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and hit that notification bell so that you get all my videos as soon as they come out. I hope everybody has a blessed day, and I'll see you later on. Bye-bye.